Hi guys, for today's knot we will look at the ocean plat mat which can be used for table mats or hot pads or if you tie in larger stuff you can even use these as door mats. If you're tying this with paracord like I am you're going to need about seven and a half feet which is around about 230 centimeters and I have started off by finding the center and I'm just going to start by forming a loop just by taking my right strand over the left and then I'm going to take this strand and I'm going to tuck it up through that loop to form an overhand knot and if I open this out and just stretch these loops out a little bit should end up looking like this and at this stage you can place this on the table if you find it easier but I'm just going to tie this in hand I'm going to take each of these loops and give it a half twist by rotating my hand clockwise so I'll put a half twist in that bottom loop and then a half twist in that top loop And then I just want to overlap this top loop here over the bottom. So we should end up looking something like that. Next I want to take this lower strand here and go to the next bite across which will be here and if this strand exits above I want to start by coming in underneath and then I want to go over two and then under one and that will just lock this loop here into place I can pull that strand all the way through next I want to take my upper strand here and I also want to go to the next bite across which will be this one here and if this one exits underneath I want to start by going over and then I want to weave straight through the center here going over under over under over so I'll be going over this next one and then under and then finally over and I can pull that all the way through and finally I want to take my upper strand here and come in right next to where this other strand exits so I'll pull that through here and that should be our finished pattern you should see there's two bites either side here and then three bites up the top and you also have three bites down the bottom once you get to this stage you just want to follow the whole knot around again following exactly the overs and unders and keeping the lines nice and parallel so I'll just start this one off just to show you what I mean so it goes over 
then under and then the next one goes over. So just follow the knot around again, following exactly until you run out on this side and then you're going to take your opposite side and follow the knot in the opposite direction. So I've finished here with my first strand and you can see that it's starting to take shape and I just want to take my other one and follow this around in the opposite direction in the exact same way that you did the first. So just keep following the knot around, following the overs and unders as you go along. So I've gotten to the end of my other side now and I'm just going to finish it off by tucking it down that last little bit there and you can see that I've got some slack here that I need to pull through so start with one side and start pulling slack all the way through your knot just so you can pull any loose parts out and also close these gaps up here so the mat is nice and compact. Here we are with the mat tightened up and I don't want this strand here on the top side so I'm just going to push this back through the mat here so that both strands are on the bottom side and if I flip it over what we want to do is just cut these off here flush and then you would glue these into place or if you had larger rope you could even stitch these into place as well. I've gone ahead and cut and glued these two excess pieces and if you flip the mat over that should be the piece completed. Please share this video around your social media because that allows me to keep providing you guys with free knot tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.